I'm gonna be there to the fucking end. Bloody and broken, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna come for your fucking soul. I'm Platinum Mike Perry. I'm the toughest son of a gun on planet Earth. Down goes Michael Page in round one. He does not understand how hard I hit. I'm gonna get in your face. I'm gonna try to knock you out from the beginning of the fight to the end of the fight. Yo, what's up? I'm Platinum Mike Perry, fighting out of Technique Boxing Gym in Mineola, Florida. My accomplishments in combat sports, many UFC fights, I mean, I, I kind of shot up to the UFC really quick. I knocked a bunch of people out. I've had some lessons, I've made some mistakes. I definitely learned from those. I debuted in BKFC against Julian Lane, who had nine fights in BKFC at the time, so he was rather experienced. Big rights to the body from Mike Perry. Perry pushing forward once more with volume. They still might not like each other, but one would think they would have to respect each other after that. For me to beat him on my first bare knuckle fight when he had nine, I feel like by the time I have nine of these, I'm gonna be so good and so dangerous. This fight with Luke happened when uh, he was talking shit to Jake Paul on the internet, on Twitter, and like I wasn't trying to let him steal that fight from me. Everybody was trying to get me that fight. So I was like, man, I'll outbox you. So I tweeted to him, because I don't think Luke's boxing is very good. I mean, maybe I'll find out, but even still, I believe it's not better than mine. So I called him out kind of on Twitter. David Feldman and the BKFC must have thought that that was a great matchup. Uh, they definitely like to take guys and move their weight classes around. And um, I'm definitely interested in it to go up against a former uh, middleweight world champion. Uh, this is quite the opportunity for me. I'm digging deep with inside myself and, and working really hard to knock Luke out. My name is Luke Rockold, born and raised in Santa Cruz, California. Yeah, I've, I've been in the fight game a long time. Um, I was the former and the last Strike Force champion of the world, um, two time defending. I don't believe we got the credit we deserved until I came into the UFC and took the UFC world title and became the undisputed world champion at middleweight. So I've, I've been in the game a long time. I've been in countless title fights since 2011. I'm still at the top of the game, still fighting the best guys in the world. And, uh, and I continue to do so, I think, better than anybody else in this game. Longevity is, is the true sign of a champion, and, and I'm still here at the top, and I'm still competing. Load it up to snap. See how he snap and do the same thing. There you go. Nice snap. Yeah. See, I like that block. Fighting gets old, and you get burnout in any realm of, of life, especially fighting. And uh, and being with the UFC, kind of being handcuffed, it, it doesn't allow you to really like you know get inspired through the game. And uh, having that freedom from them giving me this and then this opportunity with Bare Knuckle, it's, it's a new venture, it's a new ground and it's, it's something that stimulates me and it may, motivates me every day. Um, especially a punk like Mike Perry thinking he can fight me. Fuck that guy. You, know, you can't beat me, you can't fight me anywhere in this world. You're a washout, I'm a fucking champion. I'm about to show you what it, there's levels to the game and there's weight classes too. You should've stayed in your fucking lane. I'm pushing, pushing the best shape of my life right now. I think I'm more in tune with my body than I've ever been. I, I took three years off and I didn't do anything. And, and, I, and I needed that break from fighting. It has inspired me since. I feel like I just touched a little bit of, of what I'm capable of and, and I can only further that. Uh, I'm not, I don't wanna fucking get old. I wanna, I wanna defy the odds of age. And I believe that, is, that can be done. People, People waste their time and they accept the age. If you don't accept that and you, you do everything you can, you can, you can defy every odd and every, 
every circumstance. And so I enjoy this more, more so than ever. And uh, this new venture just motivates me and inspires me to do more. Some people just go for quantity. I want to land the kill shot. I guess what people want to see, right? The kill shots. my weight maybe we can eat folks on Friday if I get my weight down enough Friday folks I'm gonna, I'm gonna just starve myself you gotta be able to call a dog and make come back people don't know how to run their dogs these days too many people adopting dogs that aren't for them that aren't aligned with their values they don't know how to fucking control them If it wasn't for Luke, I wouldn't have the opportunity to fight against a former world champion. Even with some of the negative things that I might think about him, I have to respect what he's done. Uh, he is big, he is strong. Um, biggest opponent I've ever fought as far as weight, height, and credibility. I'm gonna teach him a lot. I think that my toughness and, and my coming forward or my stupidity is, uh, is definitely a raw technique that I have that a lot of human beings aren't willing to implement in their game. I'm gonna get in your face, I'm gonna try to knock you out from the beginning of the fight to the end of the fight, and I'm not gonna stop until you lay down. From beginning to end, I'm trying to knock you out. No quit. A fight is a fight. When you, put, when you take the gloves off and you're in this fucking small, small ring, you have to respect everybody. He's so dumb, he's dangerous, I think. That is Mike Perry. He doesn't understand, you know, the danger that comes through him, and that makes a man dangerous, of course. You know, I have to, be, I have to pay attention to that, and I have to be worried about that, but, you know, this, Mike should be fucking, Mike should be scared of me. I promise you, I hit harder than anybody's ever faced. I'm bigger than anybody's ever faced, and I'm more skilled than anybody he's ever faced. I don't care what he's taking, what he's on, it's gonna be a fucking long night. Or a short one. No one makes me quit. I work harder than anybody else in this game, and I got more heart, more will, and more desire than anybody. You gotta, you gotta put me away. This is what is ingrained into me, it's a DNA. It's, it's a champion, and uh, not everybody has that. Some people run away from it, and, and I run to it. This is the game, and, and uh, it's not for everybody. My experience in fighting has been a lot more than him. Um, I've stood in front of guys that Mike would never stand in front of. If I stood in front of Julian Lane, Julian Lane wouldn't last more than a round. If I stood in front of Michael Venom Page, he wouldn't last long either. These guys go in the distance and, and, and they're close fights and I, I don't expect this to be a close fight. I think I find my timing. Mike pops his head up and he runs forward and I, and I find my mark. I find my position and, and, uh, and I feel like I'm gonna fucking put this kid away early. He's a big guy, he's cutting a lot of weight, he's coming down, and uh, he's going down. It's simple as that, man. I'm so vicious in this game of boxing, let alone bare knuckle boxing. This is my shit, this is my world, this is my game, bare knuckle boxing. And there's a lot of hungry dogs in this game. And there's a lot of dudes who, they don't get what I get, and they want what I have, but my shit is proven. And, you know, the, when I set out on this journey to be a combat sports athlete all those years ago, I didn't know what it entailed. All the losses and, and failures and successes. And it is a long book of lessons that have happened throughout the career that I've had. And um, I feel like I've just gotten started here at Bare Knuckle and that my career has finally started I'm undefeated, baby. Let's go. I feel like I'm 100 and 0. He does not understand how hard I hit. When I land, he's not, he's not gonna wanna get up. I don't care how tough you fucking think you are. I'm gonna land my shots. One, two, three, they're gonna add up. I've been in there with the best of the best of the best. I've seen them all from every angle. Boxers and fighters and every, of every realm. Good luck to you, man. I don't think you're gonna get to me. And if I land my shot, you ain't getting up, Mike. I promise you that. 
I'm gonna just be all over him, barking in his face. <laughs> barking in his face, hitting him with lefts and rights, punching him, breaking his ribs when I hit him with these bare knuckles. You know, blow for blow, hit for hit, uh, chin tucked, and I'm coming at you and I don't care who you are, how big you are, how strong you think you are, I'm Platinum Mike Perry. I'm the toughest son of a gun on planet Earth. I am looking to not look out. Um, every chance I get, really touch that chin that the internet seems to think is quite suspect. No one's gonna make me quit. I'm gonna be there to the fucking end. Bloody and broken, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna come for your fucking soul. You can't avoid a fight. And this is why I signed the contract. I had a lot of different offers. And to have Mike Perry and Bare Knuckle, there's nothing more exciting. And that's why I'm here. I can't get comfortable. I have to stay sharp. I have to stay vigilant and mean. There's just not much to say anymore. It's time to fight. This is Bare Knuckle. This is as pure and as beautiful as it gets. It's time to go make some art on your motherfucking face.